Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 3 Video 9 on Applying Loads to Multiframe. Our final load case type that we're going to take a look at is a C-Motion load case. C-Motion load case allows us to apply accelerations due to the motions of a vessel and calculate the motion induced loads that might be applied to a structure fastened to that vessel. So let's suppose that we had a structure that was carrying a load on a deck. So we'll start out just by generating that structure. So I'm going to use the generate command and I'm just going to uh, put in a placeholder structure here. So I'll put in the overall dimensions. And uh, just to visualize where that is on the vessel, I'm going to import some background geometry. So I'm going to bring in some geometry from an offshore supply vessel from MaxSurf. And uh, if I display that geometry, we can then go to a front view and place our structure roughly on the deck of our vessel. And in plan view, make sure it's centered on the vessel, like so. And so in 3D, we can see we've got our structure on the aft deck of the vessel. And I might just give it some uh, properties real quick and uh, put some restraints on the bottom. And then if the structure is carrying some kind of a temporary loading, we might want to put in some lump masses to simulate the mass of the, uh, the item that it's carrying. So we can use the uh, joint mass command to put in the mass of the load or masses at each joint. So then in the load window, we can see that uh, we've got our load case here. So let's create our C-Motion load case. And you can see from this diagram that what we're doing is we're looking at a range of accelerations, both linear accelerations and also angular accelerations. And we're also looking at the rotation of the vessel. So the linear accelerations surges fore and aft, heave is up and down and sway is side from side. And then the rotation angles are roll, yaw and pitch of the vessel and the corresponding angular accelerations. And then we need to enter in a distance of our origin from the center of motion. So if we have some uh, sea keeping information about the accelerations of the vessel, we can put in the accelerations, uh, maybe the angle of roll, and we can look at different combinations of roll and pitch and heave, um, and uh, put in uh, other accelerations in here as well. Uh, so from this uh, data, uh, we can automatically calculate all of the inertial loads. And if we do a normal linear analysis for the results of the analysis, we can calculate the induced displacements and moments and so on on the structure. So let's take another look at uh, our load case here. We can see that uh, we can also include self weight uh, of the items that have been carried by the vessel. And we can choose whether to include members, plates or joint masses, which I omitted before. So if I choose that, that will add my joint masses to my structure. I can reanalyze and we get the motion induced loads due to the inertia of the masses. So that covers our uh, look at motion induced loads due to vessel motions. Thank you for watching.